you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? There's no photo option. Hello, Max. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Get that food in your belly. Can I take a fudging photo? Like the sky wants to yell at us. There we go. Achievement. Please. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Eat up. Food is the universal language. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I definitely have questions about... Uh oh what do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Please. Fucking small talk simulator. Getting real bored. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. How's that ironic? One photo. For posterity. I'm glad Samuel let me know about these rocks. Rest in peace, birdies. I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. It's ironic. How's that ironic? That's so ironic that Warren asked. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Talking to yourself? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke, um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so Fucking ironic weirdo. that Warren- Talk to you later, Max. That's- Hey, Brooke. I'm here. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the driver. Why are you still- what? Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together, but honestly... This chick is 
bugged out. Talk later, Brooke. Fucking annoying. I've never seen someone so salt. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Ninja info cards. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Batman. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. I'm not gonna try and read all this shit. Literally, like, craned my neck. Room 111. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Who would steal cat pics? They have one more meeting You're left. You're arguing. Apparently Logan missed this poster. Oh, why, hello Trevor and Dana. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. This can only be Nathan's room. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. No fucks given on that door. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. That is so Chloe. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. It's fucked up. Did someone send me a text message? No, Joyce.
I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oops. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Sounds like she said a white side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Not a sailor suit. I'm guessing the next thing this game's gonna try to do to me is make me feel sorry for Nathan. Holy shit! That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Come on, Max. You're in the belly of the beast. Search everywhere. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Let's see what Nathan hide. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Don't fuck it up, son. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I was looking for the projector. I was like, what the hell is projecting this? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh, yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Why is his phone, like, super bagged up and stuff? It's gotta be some kind of, like, disposable phone. Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. I already checked the drawer, right? Yeah. That is so Chloe. Oh my god! Chloe! 
Chloe. Oh, Chloe. <clears throat> yes, that's uh, all I came here for. Cool. Now it's open. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. <clears throat> Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? Yeah. <sighs> You're such a nosy bitch, Max! Stop right there, Nathan! Make me, ho! Born. Max! I got this! Get the fuck out of my face! <sighs> you are so fucking dead! Oh shit! Get off me, bro! <sighs> <sighs> Oh shit. Warren, stop it. Come on. Oh, oh my head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go, now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. God damn. Finally some action, I guess. Although that kind of went... I don't know, it was kind of just awkward. Like there was no dramatic music or anything. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Kick this fucking ass. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. On to the next problem. Yay! <sighs> like, I'm wondering... So if someone owes you money, you don't kill them. Like, unless you're the professional super underground mafia. Frank wouldn't just kill me. If he wants his money, he'll keep me alive. Just God. take stuff away. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. <laughs> well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would 
just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip. Foreshadowing. Fuck Someone's yeah. dying. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Probably the part where I regret not taking the gun. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. No worries, sign. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Those beached whales look so awful, but okay, okay. still so majestic. I couldn't skip it, even though she said that already. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Nope, I don't want to go there. Nope, nope, I really don't. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to go there. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. Why would he not be okay? All we did was throw him a bone and then leave. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Here we go. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well... <laughs> Well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but 
This is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. 